ventilation team for the two saws off Perlin Method 2 will consist of two sounding firefighters and two sawyers. Both sounding firefighters will locate a Perlin. One sawyer will follow each sounding firefighter as they move out to their area of operation. Once the sounding firefighters have located the area of operation, they will mark the structural members accordingly and give direction to the sawyers to begin their head cut. Sawyer number one will reach out as far as possible and start the head cut. For reference, Sawyer number one is the Sawyer furthest from the ladder. After Sawyer number one completes his side of the head cut, he will begin his downward cut, rolling any structural members that are come across. Sawyer number two will be about half a cut sequence behind and complete his cut as well. Once the downward cuts are made, the Sawyers will reach across and make their bottom cut, completing the louverable hole. It's important to note that in this method of two saws off a of purlin, the top and bottom cuts are made very close to the structural member or rafters. This will yield two louverable pieces larger than in method one. While the sawyers are finishing their cuts, the sounding firefighters will move into position and louver the first piece. As the final bottom cuts are made, the sawyers will move out of position and the sounding firefighters will move in place and louver the final piece. The sounding firefighters will continue to sound up the purlin looking for structural members. Once the area of operation is identified, the company officer will identify the structural members and give direction for the first cut. Here you will see Sawyer number one turn his saw and begin a back cut to identify where the structural members are. He will then reach across as far as comfortable and begin the head cut. As Sawyer number one finishes his head cut, Sawyer number two will reach across and complete his. The Sawyers will now begin their downward cuts, rolling any structural members as they go. Just shy of a rafter, Sawyer number one will reach out and cut his bottom cut. Sawyer number two will follow suit about half a cut sequence behind. Sawyer number one will then reach out just on the other side of the rafter and make the next head cut for the next louverable panel. The sequence will continue, making the top cuts, the downward cuts, rolling any structural members, and then the final bottom cuts. As appropriate, the sounding firefighters can move into position to louver the pieces. If necessary, the sounding firefighters will reverse their tools and use the D-handle side to punch through hanging ceilings or attic spaces. If more ventilation surface area is required, additional louverable panels can be made. In this instance, you will see here that the ventilation team is moving down to a third louverable panel. The sequence will be the same with the Sawyers working together with the head cuts, the downward cuts, and then the final bottom cuts. The sounding firefighters will move in, louver the pieces, and clear any hanging ceiling or attic spaces.